Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we have a function. f of x is equal to the sine of 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 x. And we're going to find the derivative. This problem is from a book called Calculus, written by the legendary Michael Spivak. So let's take the derivative. So we obviously have to use the chain rule, right, the chain rule. So the derivative of sine is cosine. So we're taking the derivative of the outside, and then we're not going to touch the inside piece, OK? So the derivative of sine is cosine. And then we leave the inside alone. That's going to be sine of sine of sine of sine of x. I'm not going to put the parentheses there on that last x, just to make it a little more clear. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4 sines. Yep, 1, 2, 3, 4 sines. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 parentheses. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4 parentheses. If you count parentheses, that always works. Super, super cool. Times the derivative of the inside piece here. So again, the derivative of sine is cosine. This will be cosine. And now we only have three sines of sine, of sine, of sine x, and now just count parentheses again, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, times the derivative of the inside again. So again, the derivative of this one is cosine, and now we only have two sines, sine of sine x, two parentheses, 1, 2, times the derivative of the inside again, almost there, cosine of sine x, times the derivative of the inside, so cosine x, absolutely ridiculous. Let's check this to make sure it's correct. So we took the derivative of the sine function, which is cosine, and we have one, two, three, four sine functions. We have one, two, three, four sine functions times the derivative of the inside. So this is the inside function here, this piece here. So it's sine of all of this stuff. So the derivative of sine is cosine of sine, sine, sine. Cosine of sine, sine, sine times the derivative of the inside, right? Well, the inside function here is this one. So the derivative of this sine function is cosine of sine sine, cosine of sine sine, times the derivative of the inside. That's going to be cosine of sine times the derivative of the inside, which is just cosine. So that is the answer. That's it.